Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric or Aviator and today I'm going flying. Now you guys most likely have heard this from me more often than you hear it from most people, but there's a reason for that. And well, there's a lot of reasons for that. One, because I like to fly. Two, because I like to stay sane. And uh, before I get to the airport, I wanted to talk a little bit about my reasoning for this or my, my philosophy behind this. And I want to get your thoughts as well. So bear with me and then plan to leave a comment below with your thoughts. So I believe firmly that everyone in life has to find something that they're passionate about, something that keeps them motivated, keeps them excited about life, excited about living. And for me, that has always been flying since I was three years old, went for my first flight with my grandfather and my uncle. Uh, flying is everything to me. I, I, I absolutely love the freedom of knowing that you are in control, that you have to take care of yourself, that you can go and explore and you can see things other people can't see, etc. So for me, flying has always been a part of my life. Even the six years where I did not fly, uh, from 18 to 24, I didn't fly much at all because I broke into my back and I just kind of avoided flight for a while to uh, in an attempt to, to basically not get hurt again. And that was a foolish idea, but I'm curious, you know, what are your thoughts? Because those six years of my life were, I wouldn't call them the darkest years of my life, but there were some definite challenges in there. And uh, I won't say that it was solely because I didn't fly, but I will say that the way I reacted them to reacted to them could have been different if I had been doing something that kept me quote unquote sane, something that helped me to feel alive. And so I challenge you guys with this question. What is it that helps you feel alive? Now, for a lot of people that are watching my channel, that a lot of you guys are gaming fans, I understand that. Actually, I use that too. I actually played so much Halo, Halo 2, and uh, the like for many years that that was basically my outlet when I wasn't flying. And I will say this, over a period of time, it lost its authenticity. It started to feel fake, like I was trying too hard. Like what I was attempting to create for myself, create this life for myself, became alive because it wasn't really me. It wasn't really what I wanted. What, I, what my heart really wanted was to fly and to race and do all these crazy things and banana sandwiches. But uh, <laughs> I'm curious what your thoughts are. I'm curious uh, basically what your experience has been in your life. What do you do? What do you find that keeps you passionate, keeps you motivated, keeps you uh, alive? And how do you keep yourself continuing to do it even when it's challenging for you? Because I will say this, flying has not always been easy for me. There have been times where it's been financially challenging, where it's been uh, emotionally or physically challenging after I've broken, you know, I've broken 29 bones in my body. It hurts to fly, but I keep doing it because it keeps me moving. It keeps me happy. It keeps me alive. Now, my long thought out, not really well thought out, but thought out nonetheless, uh, speech is over. I'm curious what your thoughts are. Please share them with me soon. And I'm gonna go and fly since my buddy Brian's here. My buddy David's already flying somewhere. And uh, I I'm a little bit behind the eight ball here. So I'm gonna go catch up. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the video, by the way. Uh, there should be some music and some flying here in a minute. Peace. Peace.